Hello and welcome back to Spaceborn 2. Open the Galaxy Map. Early Access version 202 was released, bringing in a new member to the WRA, Eve. Hello, you two. It's great to meet you. Mm, there's something wrong with the video. <sighs> good morning, crew. What a good day to be the leader of a human rebellion. What do you think we should do today, Eve? Good morning, Commander. Today, we will work together to ensure that mankind is the sole ruler of all galaxies. Let's make sure that all aliens who stand in our way are eliminated. What? What are you on about? You do like hurting other people, don't you? Have any of you been messing with her data set? Moliax, why are you giggling over there? <laughs> Tell them this. If you don't want to get hurt, then don't stand in our way. I will cover you. I've heard enough. Eve, unlock the bridge doors. I'm sorry. Gabe, I'm afraid I can't do that. Oh my god, Borak, what have you done? Skynet was a bad joke. Eve is the future. <laughs> Eve is an AI companion that was also present on Spaceborn 1. It's hard to tell. We'll have to move quickly to make it in time. Let's get going. Here, she gained a bit of an overhaul. Eve can both execute commands for in-game actions, but she can also reply to general questions and queries. Eve, my mothership is too fat. I understand. Some players might appreciate not having to install and configure third-party software in order to enable voice commands in the game. In the settings gameplay menu, you can see some of the specific commands you can give Eve. These include things like toggling weapons on and off, activate weapons, request docking, request docking, and lower or raise landing gear. Landing gear. Opening screens like the cargo screen, galaxy map or local map. Open the galaxy map. Open the scanner map. Requesting jumps from stargates. Request jump. And giving orders to squads. Squad 1, defensive formation. Alpha squad, attack my target. Eve can provide tutorials and guidance on game features and systems. For example, how to dock. Eve, how do I dock my ship on a station? To dock your ship on a station, first activate the cursor. How to jump. Eve, how do I use jump gates? To use a stargate, you must first have a registered route. For and more. What can you tell me about my crew members? Your crew members are the backbone of your ship. Each crew member has one active and several passive abilities that can help your ship in various ways. You can ask things about the game's lore or ask for her opinions and commentary about your actions. She has knowledge about the game. Eve. Who are my crew members? Currently, your crew members include Drain, Molly X, Anka, and Momo. What can you tell me about the races in the universe? The three main races in the game are the Falrens, the Morthas, and the Kagans. The Falrens are a humanoid alien race that is cunning, powerless. Can you tell me about my father? Your father was the leader of the World Resistance Army, Ra, a group of Earthlings living Eve is a conversational AI, so you can talk to Eve about anything you want, similar to what you would expect from something like ChatGPT. Her responses might vary or even be unexpected, so watch out for that. Should I go to war or go mining? It depends on what type of challenge you are looking for. Could pizza go on pineapple? That's up to you, ultimately. Pull from a valuable resource? Too. What came first, the chicken or the egg? That is a difficult question. Just a big warning that Eve can hallucinate strongly when asking her questions. The broader the question and the more open-ended it is, the more she may be compelled to hallucinate. This is true even when asking questions about existing features that she has knowledge about. She may mix up facts or the order of operations. It is very cool when she works, but I wouldn't trust her with providing correct tutorials at the moment. Take all her answers with a grain of salt. Does Spaceborn 2 your multiplayer? Yes, Spaceborn 2 features both online and offline multiplayer. You oh god. No. Stop. Stop. Eve also seems to have a really hard time understanding accents. Sometimes due to my accent, I have to reframe questions so she can imply and understand the meaning by context. Eve currently is only understanding and replying in English, although she may try to lie about it. Eve, which languages do you speak and understand? I am programmed to understand and speak English, Spanish. Por que no te calas? I'm sorry, I'm not sure. I'm really sorry, Spanish viewers. It's just that she didn't mention Portuguese. Eve, do you speak Portuguese? No, I do not speak Portuguese. God, I am it. programmed to understand and communicate in English. Do you speak Spanish? 
No. Additionally, currently Eve can only be spoken to while controlling a ship. She cannot be used when flying the mining drone or when walking on foot. I believe this kind of feature is full of potential, but keep in mind that this is an experimental feature, and when I say experimental, it is really experimental. As an example, the developer explicitly told Eve not to lie, not to make up information, or at least to say that she doesn't know things when she doesn't know them. However, she clearly ignored all those directions and settings and keeps on hallucinating, rewriting and redesigning the game by herself. I believe if Eve was unlocked through a story mission, and in the story she was this faulty, experimental AI that was trained on science fiction novels which nearly prevents her from being useful for anything except for controlling the ship systems and controls, I think it would be hilarious. However, I do know that as a player, having a feature misbehave like that can be disappointing or infuriating. That's why the developer will be listening to feedback to see if more time and effort should be applied in this feature or even if it should be removed from the game. Some things I would like to see Eve being able to do are things like setting warp routes without opening a map and setting a route to the closest guild station. I'm not usually drawn to voice commands unless they operate like macros and automate actions that require multiple clicks or key presses. The developer has shown a clear interest in expanding Eve that way but it's also clear that feedback and testing all the underlying tech first is better than to spend too much time working on something that we're not sure how people will receive. As always, I'll list some bug fixes that I take as noteworthy from this version. It was possible to get the services interface stuck sometimes. This would be really annoying and trippy and usually would require saving and reloading to fix. There was a UI issue on the item transfer screen that would remove all unused inventory slots from the inactive ships after transferring an item out of them and require players to switch to the inactive ship in order for its inventory to be displayed again. I haven't been able to reproduce this in a long time, but sometimes there are reports of items being missing from the bank or even of all items in the bank being deleted. Since this couldn't be reproduced, the way items are treated and saved internally was changed and improved. If you ever get bugs that involve item deletion, loss of progress and breaking of the main story quest, please do report those bugs as sometimes they can be nearly impossible to reproduce, but along with crashes they get top priority for being fixed. A week before the 202 release came the 201 minor update. This update featured a ton of bug fixes, over 40, and a couple of requested changes. There's too much stuff to list, so if you're curious, I'll link the change logs on the description below. Consumable items are now tied to the ship instead of the character. This means when you change your ship, consumable items are not reset and are saved along with the ship. Before, when changing ships, your consumable items would be deposited in the bank. This was just a temporary measure until the behavior was improved. A new combine for the mining beam weapon has been added. Before, if you bought anything to tab, you'd have issues with the mining beam. The crew button has been removed from the main interface and added under the ship interface. The option to enable or disable the guard system has been added to the gameplay settings. This was pretty weird of a bug caused by some changes on 2.0. Sometimes it'd go inside a station and the trading kiosks would blink out of existence. For whatever reason, the drone maintenance and the drone boost perks weren't functional and had issues for a while. In some specific cases, a crew member, in this case Moliax, would not join the player's crew or be removed from the crew when loading save files from older versions. This would prevent players from buying large ships. The bad thing in this bug is that no one was sure if it was intended to be able to reject a character from joining your crew during the story. Right now, there is no way from rejecting story characters from joining you, as that would derail the game's story. It's unknown if the developer will make the game have branching storylines allowing you to reject specific crew members in the future. More psychopaths. Despite being a human and actually having a life outside of Spaceborn 2, the dev keeps on working and releasing new updates. As I'm recording this, the update has been out for less than a day and just like with all things regarding AI right now, opinions are radically mixed. There's love and there's hate. I, for one, am happy when developers are happy developing their games. And despite being the most confident, most lying AI I've seen yet, hey there. I'm actually surprised that I enjoyed Eve's company during gameplay and during the recording of this video. Thank you, it's always a pleasure to help. With better turning and training, I'm pretty sure she'll be a fine addition to the WRA. We have a whole galaxy to burn, and an AI that clearly states that she wants humans to rule sounds like a very worthy ally. We need help so this is it for this update on the past two weeks' progress on the game's development. Thanks so much for watching, and thanks for all the support so far. These videos can take a lot of time to make, so it's great to see it's being useful or interesting somehow. As they say, smash that like button if you'd like to see more Spaceborne 2 content, and subscribe for more videos. Have a good one, and keep flying angry. As long as there is an alien to kill, I will always fly angry. Chill out, Eve.